Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I will solve some examples of Ohm's law using MATLAB. We compare the results with analytical method. As shown on the screen, this is a circuit that has two resistors, 4 ohms, 6 ohms in series with a, a DC source of 24 volts. We are supposed to find the current in the circuit, which is a 2.4 from the analytical method, 2.4, and a voltage across the resistance, which is 9.6 and 14.4. This is the analytical method. Let's now solve this one using MATLAB symlink. Okay, let's start. We, we need a, a electrical library. You go to library browser. You at the same skip foundation library. You need electrical library. We have electrical elements, sensors, and sources. Oh, yeah. We need for this one, we need a, a resistor and we need a DC source. Look for the DC source. We have a DC source. This one that's my DC source. Go back to library. This is a DC source. We need elements. We need resistor. Two of them. One is enough. You go back to library. We need. We need now a, a, a sensor for the current and voltage. Let click add block. Let click add block. We have two of them here. Yeah, these are the ones we need for now. Okay, we have these are the sensors. Of, this is a current sensor to measure the current, and a voltage sensor to measure the voltage across the resistor. Okay, let me make the blocks bigger a little bit. Yeah, these are these are fine. Now you have to connect these two as shown in our diagram here. This is us. Rotate Control R. Okay. Double click. We need a 20, 24. A V voltage. Okay. 24 here. Uh, okay. Let me use an let me annotate. DC source of 24 yeah like that then we need uh, 4 ohms resistance 6 ohms 2 of them 1 here right click drag to copy and you can connect these two like that this one is supposed to be 4 ohms oh. ok 6 6 Okay, for you to, for you to get the value you right click go to properties block annotation look scroll down R add to the add the annotations for the R add unit Okay so that the block can display the value of the of the resistor it will be r represent the value maybe 40 in our case it will be 4 unit will be ohm 4 ohm yeah like that for ohm here here is 6 you can repeat what we have done right click Properties, block annotation, we need R unit. You have to backspace to make sure we are on the same line. They put a black at there. It's not, not a must, but I like making my work to be neat. Then you connect 
this to the source here and this one to the source. In electrical, we need a ground. In this case, the ground is a reference. Therefore, you go back to the library. I need elements, you need electrical reference. Drag it here. Put it here. Yeah, like that. Connect it to the the block. This is, the, our, this is like our ground, our reference of all the values. Then we need to define now to remember current. You have it is, this is a current sensor. It's a voltage sensor. You delete one of the lines here and you put your current in series. You measure the current in series. Okay, not parallel. Like that, yes, then let's do this. Then voltage, you have to measure voltage across, across resistor. Therefore, I need one voltage here, rotate it, so that we can measure the voltage across resistor. We need two of them, one for this and one for this one. Okay, we need them like that. Okay, rotate. Rotate, control I to interchange the pots, then rotate again, yeah. like that. It is across. It's so on the same, same to this across that resistor, but the current is currently through. The reason why we are connecting the current sensor through. But now this one has to be across. Then we need a physical to simulate converter block. Yeah, it is. Uh, we need to let me zoom in so that I can be able to enlarge it a little bit. Yeah, that's better. We connect this one to the first. Can left click, right click to copy. Then we need a display to display our values now. This one here to display the voltage, the first resistor. Then another one here to display the voltage, the second resistor. Okay, yeah, yeah, like that. Same case applies to the current. We need a, a block here to measure the current and a, a display to display the value of the current. Okay, the, the current through the, the current circuit, the circuit current, current. Yeah, let's run. Okay, we have a we have an error here. Okay, we forgot to we don't have a solver. Yeah, see here there is no there is no solver. That's how you can be able to know to determine if your block is okay. The MATLAB gives it the Highlights the solution with no solver, therefore, we need a solver. Solver. Put the solver here. This solver, you can put the solver in any, in any position. Let's now solve. Yeah. 2.4. 2.4. Nine point six, nine point six, and fourteen point four, which is the same as fourteen point fourteen point four. Therefore, you can be able to solve either analytically or using blocks. Okay. Thank you so much for watching my video.
then please watch the previous videos I have created for this long. Then please wait for my next videos. Thanks so much. Bye.